Wow, I'm surprised you made it this far. Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. You had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. <sighs> Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims. Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But that's not all. If at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates. Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It's the world that really kills them, isn't it? This world reflects people's thoughts. Which, oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? To hell with that! You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die! If that's not a crime, then what is? <laughs> You're so self-righteous. How can you say that? Aren't you a police officer? Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. You know why I applied? So I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. I thought it would be fun, too. But to tell the truth, that was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. I made one tiny mistake, and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud, why a bastard like you? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. I did that stuff because I could, and it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious! You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. No one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with a magic ticket called talent. If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. The ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? That's complete BS! Brats like you are so damn naive. You piss me off. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see. You'll be faced with a boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk. I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but jeez. I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Once everyone turns into shadows, they'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No, this'll make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are you talking about? Come on. How many people out there actually think about what's real or what's right and wrong? Next to none, I bet. It's useless to think about those things in the first place. You don't get anything out of facing reality, and there's no way to change it either. I mean, what could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? It's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to believe in life. Doesn't that sound a lot easier? It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? Then it'd be easier if we all just became shadows. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. 
Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. So it's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, dumbass! Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? It must have been enjoying life far more than you. Be careful! I don't know what's happening! You all saw shadows as mere monsters, didn't you? These things move on pure instinct. They go wild because you defy them. You annoying little brats are the ones who are wanted in the new world! Speak for yourself! Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have his way. People can't live alone. If you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Shut up! Stop, Stop trying to act all tough! tough. You, you guys can't even stand, stand on your own, own unless, unless you, you deny, deny everything, everything I said! Stupid teenagers! You, you have no idea what kind of shit I've been, been through. through! Favored by the world, my ass! I'm gonna say it flat out. You're just a worthless criminal! Here he comes. This'll probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got! The world is about to change! Your existence won't belong there! I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague! I'll have to get rid of all of you! Let's do it! If we work together, there's no chance we could lose to a man like this! Shut up! Get lost! Get the hell out of my sight! I can't believe he's the one! That bastard! We can't lose, no matter what! Persona! Persona! Sonic! 
Such a pain in the ass! I'll kill you! Just like I did those other ones!
bastards! There's no way I can lose! It makes no sense! I can't lose! Dumbass! My skills have been honed. Damn, this is lame. <laughs> oh well, our world's gonna disappear soon, no matter what. I didn't have anywhere to go back to anyways. Everyone's gonna become shadows. <laughs> humans will become shadows and I shall descend upon the united world as the master of order descend order what's with this guy all of a sudden what's happening guys this isn't a dachi it's someone completely different both this world and yours will soon be enclosed in a fog that never lifts it will be the peaceful world that mankind has longed for. Who are you? I am Amino Sagiri. One who rules the fog. One awakened by man's desires. Do what you will, but your world's erosion cannot be stopped. It is an inevitability. You played your part well. Stirring up the will of the masses into madness. But that will soon come to an end. Mankind will soon become shadows and live on in the darkness of the fog. Oblivious of their reality. What the hell are you? Why are you doing this? I am the one that shepherds humans to their true desires. Though their hearts longed for peace, it could never be attained. So they tore down the wall between image and reality. Indeed, this is the outcome desired by mankind. And mankind's desires are my desires. That is why I decided to expand this world. You're saying you're the one who created this nasty-ass world? This is part of the sea of unconsciousness that exists within human hearts. A hollow forest born from bloated desire and false imagery. Humans view things as they see fit. They wish not for truth, but rather prefer the undesirables be hidden in fog. Still, humans fear what they cannot see. That brief yearning for truth becomes a ray of light which breaks the fog and torments the shadows. That's why they attack and kill whoever's nearby at that time. A hollow forest. Then, this place isn't simply affected by people's hearts. It actually exists inside them? Mankind abandoned its pursuit of truth, placing itself in the depth of chaos and falsehood. Thus, my strength has grown, and the fog will not lift. Your world will be engulfed by the Hollow Forest. 
Will you shut up already? We'll just use our power to beat the heck out of you and it'll all be over. It was I who made it possible for you to bring about this destiny. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the Hollow Forest. That is what allowed you to come in contact with this world. And you all have done very well since. Bestowed power? Contact with this world? You mean the power to enter the TV? Then the Midnight Channel, was that phenomenon also your doing? Humans fail to see things as they truly are. They choose to see only what they wish. I acted only in support of this. A world filled with desires, viewed through a window from which one sees what one wishes to see. Humans departed from reality of their own volition, craving more false images. A window that shows people what they want to see. So that's why those who got famous suddenly appeared on the Midnight Channel, one after another. It was all in people's minds. I have to say, it must be true. The Midnight Channel we saw in Namatame's hospital room, that kept bothering me since. What we saw there wasn't Namatame's true intentions at all. Then it came on because we were all thinking, this person must be the killer, he can't be forgiven? We let ourselves be deluded. Exactly. The more false images one yearns for, the more one stops yearning for reality. And so the forest grows on. That is the expansion of this world. Enough talk already! Long story short, you're the one behind all this! Yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're going down! People want to become shadows? Their desire is your desire? To hell with that! When did we wish for that crap anyways? We kept fighting and fighting like morons to get where we're standing. Yes, that I did not foresee. The ability to master your own shadow that emerged to kill you and use its power. A new and uncertain facet of mankind. Is it worthy to put my trust in, or not? It must be tested. you want so far but that'll end when we crush you precisely then we know what we gotta do now i don't want people to turn into shadows we'll defeat it for sure i'll back you up with everything i've got this thing has no right to exist me is a senseless act which goes against your world's wishes. Now, let everything vanish into the sweet fog of illusion. Let's finish off ugly here. We ain't about to let a gross-looking eyeball do whatever it wants. Uh, it's huge. Let us begin. Persona! Let's go!
can't use her persona now. Still ticking! There's soda! There's soda! No one wishes for the fall to lift. Why act against the wishes of your fellow man? Consider. Is that truly just? Uh. 
persona. Draw many back into suffering and strife. Why will you not understand this?
Persona! So those who would keep true peace from the world! You're low on health. Be careful.
I see. Your powers are strong. Power comes from the heart. You have proven to me human potential. Very well. I will lift the fog from the place where you will return to. Mankind's desires are my desires. If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. I am always at your side, watching. Well, don't wait up! We'll keep that from happening no matter what! Time will show the path humanity takes. Children of the new potential. You think it was controlling Adachi-san? Who can say? I believe it was at least partially his own intention as well. So that's it, huh? <clears> hmm. <throat> Fine. Live however you want. If you think you have the power to change the future, then go right ahead. Everyone has the power to do that. <laughs> Get out of here. The shadows will finish me off. Just leave me be. You came to kill me in the first place, didn't you? No, dumbass. If we leave you here dying, and a dead body eventually appears, then what? What's that accomplished for anyone? Your stupid game's over. We're taking you back. Live and face your punishment. That's how it works in our world. Right. I'm sure that's the outcome Dojima-san wishes for as well. We have the same power, but things turned out so differently for us. Easier said than done. But, maybe if I had been more like you, things wouldn't have gone this way. Let's go back. Greetings, Shirogana-san. We got word from Detective Dojima. He's wanted on suspicion of murdering Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi, right? Correct. Understood. We have an ambulance waiting downstairs. Should we have them bring the stretcher up here? An ambulance? Detective Dojima assumed one would be necessary. He wanted the suspect to be carefully taken into protective custody. It... Well, it was a personal favor to him. They were partners, after all. Then yes, please have them bring up the stretcher. Understood.
like you promised, right? Oh, Makoto! Don't run like that! It's for real! The fog's really gone! We did it. This time it's for real. What's up, senpai? Did you think I was crying? It's just so bright. It's been so long since the sky was that blue. It's finally over. Hey, don't get all sappy. We did this together. But, well, this means we've won. Huh? What are we doing? Ooh, what's this? Everyone ready? Here goes! We did it! Woohoo! Why didn't you guys say it? You all joined in when Risa John did it! Um, I think that was a little too hard to get on the spot. Which part did you mean for us to say? Can we just do it over? Man, having to redo something like this kind of kills the fun of it. All right, Chia, do that weird call again. Not if you're going to call it weird. <laughs> um, people are beginning to stare. I don't think we should stay like this much longer. Um, my hand's getting kind of sweaty. Sheesh. Fine, then. It's all yours, Sensei. Dude, aren't you supposed to do this before you start something, not after it's over? Huh? Who cares? I'm kind of nervous because I've never spent a Christmas like this. And I'm kind of amazed, too. Here I am, spending Christmas with you, and I didn't even know you last year. But now we're here together, and I feel happy. You know? Come on, say something. You're making me all embarrassed. That cake looks delicious. Good choice. Um, this is uh, from me. I'm sure it'll look good on you. I bought it, but I want to challenge myself and make one with my own two hands next year. And, uh... <laughs> I want to celebrate Christmas next year with you, too. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's this late already. Y you know, I, um... I told my parents I'll be at Yukiko's place tonight. They... They won't be worried if I'm with Yukiko. Plus, we've done lots of sleepovers at her place and my place before, so... So... Yeah... Oh, you know what I'm trying to say! Hey, wipe that grin off your face! Stupid... <sighs> so the case is closed for reals this time. I think we can safely leave the rest to the police. Adachi has confessed his crimes, so I'm sure Namatame's presumed guilt will be re-examined as well. I see. Then that really wraps it up. What do you do now, Teddy? You're not going back over there, are you? You better not, you dumb bear. You don't know how much you worried us last time. I won't suddenly disappear like that again. Damn straight you won't. Man, just stay here, all right? Hey, it's me. Good news. It looks like they're letting Nanako come home for a bit. She's awake again, and she's got a good amount of strength back, too. If all goes well, she might be able to leave the hospital for the time being. And as for me, they said I just needed to see a doctor regularly. So I'm planning to come home with Nanako today. Sorry I had to stick you with all the housework. I'll make up for it somehow. Really? Nanako-chan's coming home? I I'm so happy for her. Me too. I'm really glad. The fog's all gone over here. Because everyone tried so hard, and now Nanako-chan's gotten better! Nanako-chan tried hard, too. She... she's such an amazing girl. <laughs> Seriously, thank heavens she's okay. Touching? Uh. Well, one thing's certain. It's party time! Let's throw a big Christmas party for Nanako-chan! A party, you say? I'm sure Nanako-chan will be delighted! We'll need a cake, then. G guys please say you're not gonna... Huh? We're gonna make one. Of course we're gonna make one. I've already researched the ingredients. Hey, wait, wait a sec, whoa there. That's way too tall an order for you. Let's go to the grocery department. Come on, Natto-kun, you too. B but I've never baked a cake. Don't worry, neither have we. So this is the fabled Kotatsu. I was really looking forward to the new Kotatsu. Yeah, you talked about it all the time at the hospital. Nanako needs to go back for a full checkup early next year, but if they don't find anything wrong, they'll let her go immediately. If I'd gotten better sooner, we would have been able to buy the Kotatsu together. Sorry. Okay. Next time, let's go together. Sorry for the wait! Oh no. The Christmas edition of Mystery Food X is about to be served. Bring it on. I'm ready. Got my insurance card and everything. <sighs> it's a cake! 
Okay. This is bigger than I imagined. Well, wait, Nanako-chan. I'll be the first one to... No! It's delicious! It tastes really good! Th that can't be... No. Has she lost all sense of taste? Did you guys really make this? Huh? Of course we did. Does it actually taste like something? It's not hot, is it? How is it, Kanji? Hmm? It, it's amazing! You know what they say about true talent not needing to show off. Turns out we had good taste in cooking after all. Then again, this one was our third attempt. Hey, Yosuke! Chie-chan and the others really are talented chefs. Three stars for sure! I impossible! This actually tastes good! Wait, I didn't already pass out, did I? This isn't a dream, right? Um, Nana-chan... Guess what I have? Ta-da! A Christmas present for you! Oh, it looks just like you! I wish I could have made it look better. But I thought it'd keep you company at the hospital, Nana-chan. Oh, and it's made from 100% pure teddy fur. I'm a guy who's all about using all natural materials. Isn't that nice of him, Nanako? Teddy fur. Uh -huh. Thank you, Teddy! I have to thank you all again. Adachi confessed to the two murders. He insists it was him who hung the bodies, too. There are still things that are unclear about his story, but he's most likely going to pay for his crimes. Anyway... This was one strange case. If what you said about a world inside the TV was true, then everything might make sense. Though I still don't believe it. Some things in this world just can't be explained. Like Nanako. She made a miraculous recovery, and now she's as healthy as ever. Back in the day, my own senpai on the forest told me something. There's an underside to everything that you can never see. This case has made me think about a lot of things. You've helped us out so much. <laughs> it was meant to be the other way around, really. There isn't much time left until spring, but I hope I can do some catching up until then. That's right. You're only here until spring, huh? Senpai, you're going back? It won't be the same without you. Sensei? Are you going somewhere? Don't forget, there are people waiting for you. When you get home, show your parents how much you've grown this past year. And then if they're okay with it, you can come back here at any time. Come on, spring's a long ways off, right? Let's have all the fun we can until then. Hey, don't get too carried away. My sis would kill me if you got yourself held back a year. Oh, but then you wouldn't have to go back, huh? Wow, if that happened, I'd be in the same grade as Senpai. Yo!
You're back. Oh. 